right. Oh, well, welcome to the monthly cultural affairs and tourism meeting. And uh, sometimes we have big numbers, sometimes we have small numbers. But we always have lots of announcements of things that are going on in Brockton. And you can always uh, go to happeninginbrockton.com. And you will see there whatever has been turned into me, or I have found the hard way by searching and the internet to find out what's going on in Brockton so that I can plan my schedule, and, uh, but so that you can plan yours as well. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think what else is going on here. We do have here the gar our community garden. Uh, it is nearing the end of the season for it, but there are things down there to harvest. Tomatoes have been plenteous this year, and lots of green peppers, and a couple of the beds we've already put to sleep for the winter. And, uh, but again, we were very thankful. We've had several of our neighbors take advantage of it, and that's what it's there for. And uh, again, just uh, glad that we could do that, and that's the congregation here at North Baptist. And uh, we welcome in uh, the cultural affairs once a month. So uh, without any further ado, I'm going to just step aside and let Ann come here and share a few things. Okay. Once again, everyone is always invited to this every month, except December, where we cut everybody a break. Okay. So welcome. Uh, today is unbelievable. It's already Thursday, September 8th. And we hope everybody's safe and well, and everybody got to school like they're supposed to. <laughs> but anyway, we have a whole lot of upcoming events, so we're going to have a couple of people come up and announce. And we encourage you to contact us, 774-297-4939. And we want to thank Broughton Community Access for always uh, keeping us in the loop and let, allowing us to uh, not only promote this on Broughton Community Access, but encourage others to do so. Broughton Community Access is open seven days a week, unless it's a holiday. But we do want to say, and this is very important, beginning Thursday, September 15th, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Mass Cultural Council releases to the local cultural council the announcements for upcoming availability for grants. And you can apply as an individual you can apply as a group. You do not have to be a nonprofit, and we cannot encourage you enough. This is for artists. This is for organizations that wish to do something in science, in uh, nature, in um, oh performances. And boy, do we want them! Whether it's a band, um, a musical, and um, oh, because we love art, and music, and what have you. So I'm going to let the other guests come up here and make their announcements because the whole idea is this is taped and it's edited like a day later and gets out to the community. But again, you are always welcome here. The next meeting is on Thursday, October 13th at 6 p.m. at 899 North Main Street at North Baptist Church. It's free for everyone. Okay. So everybody, get up there. <laughs> no, no, no. So I am here in the capacity of the Downtown Brockton Association, and um, we have started a little bit of our um, promotion about the holiday parade. And I have flyers, um, big and small. Uh, we'll be getting it out, inviting schools and different community groups, as well as obtaining bands. And my hope is to have floats and really to get it back to the level that it once was. Um, unfortunately, COVID has really made it a little bit more difficult over the last couple of years. But um, there are flyers, and they'll be available on our website and our social media. Um, there is a, a wonderful, energetic woman named Amanda Glennon who works for uh, NeighborWorks, who is going to be um, chairing the the holiday parade. And one last thing on, yep, it's it's oh, the wonderful. it is wonderful to finally get some. As we all know, I think we all. All of us here struggle to try to get volunteers because everybody's busy with busy lives. But we have um, we have flyers and posters that are going out. Um, we are looking for participation. 
we're looking for volunteers. We'll be looking for sponsors. But um, while I have the, the microphone, I want to be able to, to at least send appreciation to the mayor and the city council. Um, they have appropriated some funding that they always have done over the last several years um, that goes toward the part of the app, um, the work of the parade. It does take a lot of, um, of, of um, time, but also to our sponsors in the past have been Harbor One, um, as well as many other um, organizations. So um, just want to say thank you. Um, and if you are interested, follow on social media and I'll either have come or I'll have Amanda come for the October to get additional information. But we'll be holding special um, holiday parade meetings just to get people so we can, we want to be able to use all hands and um, be an opportunity. So um, thank you for the opportunity. Okay, thank you very much. All right. So um, I'm going to run up there again. Okay, here we go. Because I have, um, let's see, three announcements. Well, pretty much three announcements here. The time capsule uh, committee is moving in the right direction. We're terribly excited about this. And uh, we're inviting everyone. Oh, and please, pictures, uh, uh, what am I going to call them? Artifacts, programs from different events. Uh, this will be taking place. Uh, how would I say? We're going to have like a couple of weeks, but people can come in, bring in their informa information, uh, something that they want to contribute to the time capsule. As it stands now, we're hoping to have the unveiling during, I'm going to call it school break, in between Christmas and New Year's, right near the end of the year, kind of like a neat thing for um, celebration. It will be in downtown Brockton, historic downtown Brockton, where a whole lot of uh, activities take place. I'm also going to mention something because um, my buddy isn't here. Uh, Cynthia Hodges and Jimmy Hodges get involved with recognizing the first responders. This event will take place on Wednesday, September 28th, and uh, they're looking for sponsors. But on top of that, um, they're also looking for people to set up their information tables at no cost. So how great is this? Because they get a few hundred people show up throughout the course of this. And I'm going to say it lasts three hours between, yeah. And um, they're going to be at City Hall. So if you're with the Boy Scouts, if you're with the Lions Club, the Rotary, just to name a few, they've you know, encouraged us to come. I'm with the Broughton Garden Club. We're having a welcome back meeting. Um, on Monday, September 26th, it's a seed swap, so you can get seeds, you can trade seeds. There's plant swap, um, and uh, it's all very informal. It's open to the public. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. at Our Lady of Lords. Uh, there's an elevator. It's handicap accessible. Uh, we always have everything handicap accessible. I want to emphasize that. At Our Lady of Lords, again, Monday, September 26th. Next! For the 45th year, Dave Gorman is kicking off the fall uh, Kids World Races. Oh, with, by the way, with Judy Gorman, who does an awful lot of work. And um, there we go, September 10th, Saturday, September 10th, for eight weeks. And the only time that there isn't a road race is if there's thunder and lightning. This is $1 a week for your kids. Where are we? They start at the age of four. They go all the way up to 14. We just want to let you know, too, this is open to the developmentally challenged, and, uh, the, um, and, and it's, it's sponsored by a whole lot of great people. And um, Dave Gorman has been instrumental in the past. The registration forms are available all different places. But on top of that, you can register that day. And um, why can't I find Oh, here we go. His email is Irish. Dave G at AOL.com. And please, this is another great thing to do for your kids without spending a ton of money on sports equipment and uh, other and driving all over the universe. It's at DW Field Park. They, call, they refer to it as the Pentagon, but it's right after the Tower Hill. And you get up there, you drive up there, and how would I say it? And this, this is all professionally run, and he's been doing it for 45 years. Now, on top of this, this is so great because this is something that used to exist in the city of Broughton, and some of us were so blessed to be able to attend it, Hispanic Festival. It's coming back, a little bit of a smaller scale. It's unfortunate that all the people that mobilized it, with the exception of one or two, are no longer with us. And uh, it was incredible. So now, a remarkable woman named Inez 
is mobilizing this. So far, she has 13 Spanish-speaking nations representing this. And they're going to do a parade, and they want people to participate, enjoy it. It's all free. By the way, with the exception of the dollar to participate in the kids' road race, everything so far we mentioned is free. I want to clear that up right now. And uh, yes, so we'll have further information going out there um, about for Inez. Inez is um, the mobilizer for the Latino Women's Association, and um, it's celebrating, uh, what I say, Hispanic heritage from September 15th to October 15th. It's this wonderful time, and this is great. And I'm going to describe this the way I understand the whole setup. It is going to be behind the district court. So. How would I say it? The address is Main Street, but it kind of intersects with Belmont Street and, excuse me, also Clifton, right, right behind it. Humongous parking lot area. Again, handicap accessible, plenty of place for parking, all free, 10 to 3 on Sunday, October 2nd. And I, I want to make sure I mention everything. And um, again, Oh, um, oh yeah, Pat Monteith, um, the new um, NASA ambassador, um, solar system ambassador, is doing another presentation on Tuesday, September 13th. There's three of them. This is all free, but you have to contact her at li um, library maker, uh, um, Broughton Library Maker at um, gmail.com. Sorry. And um, also go on to um, www.broughton.com publiclibrary.org to get the information. Again, all free. There's a program at 4 o'clock for little kids, a program at families, of course, and a program at 5 o'clock for little kids and families, and a program at 7 o'clock for adults and um, you know older um, kids like teenagers. And It's phenomenal having been in this portable planetarium. It is so neat. And here it is in your city. Again, this is at, um, I'm sorry, the 304 uh, Main Street in Brockton, but all the parking's on White Ave, or most of it, anyway. So again, and there's so many other program, programs, but I'm just going to say those, and I'm going to have um, Claire Lineberry come up here from um, the Tower Fest Committee. That's back. So again, don't say there isn't anything going on in Brockton. <coughs> Yes, thank you. Uh, Tower Fest is back October 8th, 10, uh, 11 to 4. We are already um, established with the pony rides, face painting, pumpkins, games, food, raffles, and baked goods. Um, it's children activities are free for the kids. Admission is free, and um, we will be able to park um, all not only in DW Field, but also at the Greek Church, and there will be a shuttle bus to come up to. And hopefully we'll have some golf carts in those for those who can't make it up to the hill. So um, yes, ROTC will be working with us on that too. So um, please come and join us. That's October 8th at Tower Hill, and that is in the DW Field Park. And we do have flyers if anybody would like them. But Come and join us. Hi, everyone. This is Kelly Tavares from BRA. I'm here to invite you for the small business retreat that we're going to have at BCA at 1 North Main Street on the September 19th. You are all invited. This event is for you, for the small business. We're going to have consultants that's going to be focused on small business advising and strategy, business planning, branding and marketing, PPP forgiveness, small business grant, human resource and operation. We've been sharing it on our social media page. We have the flyers. Please register. This is free and this is the resource for you. Let's connect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And I remember what it was that I was forgetting. One of the best events in this city will begin on Thursday, September 15th, and we all know what it is, the Greek Festival. Yes, for four days, four days, you not only get great Greek food, great Greek desserts, 
great Greek music, but a great time. And in all seriousness, you've never seen anything so efficiently run in your life. Greek festival is at the Greek church on Oak Street in Broughton. And we do want to let you know, too, that the symphony is going to be kicking off this season, the Broughton Symphony. And let's not forget the remarkable activities that have been going on at the Fuller Craft Museum. You're going to be hearing a whole lot more from them. And it's all free. Once again, everything we've mentioned this evening is free. There's a whole lot more going on. We continue to invite you um, to be a part of this. The next meeting is Thursday, October 13th. 6 p.m., 899 North Main Street at the North Baptist Church. Plenty of parking on the parking lot on the side. Uh, my name is Ann. Reach us again at 774-297-4939. Remember, the grants are out, local cultural council. There are people available to assist you. It's cost-free to apply. And again, uh, like I said, there's a whole lot of great things going on. Stay safe. Stay well. Have a great um, school year, and um, really come out and enjoy some really, really great times. Thank you very much. And again, just a reminder that uh, for those that are end up watching this, and for those that are here, uh, email me if you have an announcement, event, you know, if you already have a P, uh, if you have it as a PDF, that's fine. I can convert it to an image file so that we can get it up on happeninginbrockton.com. And uh, most of the events that were mentioned tonight are already up there. And, but I know there are others that have not made it there yet because I either haven't found it or I haven't been emailed. So emailing me is the easiest way. It saves me a lot of time of searching all dozens of websites to try all and figure free, it out. All free. Yep. And what's the best email? Yeah, rdrconsult at gmail.com. That's my shortest email address that I have. <laughs> the rest of them are way too long. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thank you for coming out. And I hope that uh, many folks get to see this and are, can take advantage of all that's happening here in Brockton. And let's make Brockton a greater place to be.